good morning guys from a very sleepy 10 past 7 at the airport. We left the house at 5am, we've been up since 4, but we're going on a big, big, big road trip slash holiday to Australia and New Zealand. So we're going to be gone for an entire month. Um, I've not really mentioned it online much, but we're literally gone for a month and it's going to be so epic. So I'm going to be splitting the vlogs into a few parts, but I am so excited for a humongous road trip and just to like see everything, do everything. Not looking forward to the flight, however. We've got 10 hours and then 14, and then like a three hour layover. Something like that, isn't it? It's a long one. Yes. But it's just me and James. Are we gonna love each other after this 24 hour flight? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you were very set on that. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're just gonna fill up on some breakfast in the airport and, and then around. get a coffee. Try and stay awake for the first flight, sleep for a bit of the second flight. But we will see how it goes. I'll update you throughout. Um, but I'm very sleepy. Very, very sleepy. I'm waiting for coffee and food. And I actually really need to wait. I need to find a toilet. The only toilet in the airport is all the way around there, isn't it? Down by the spoons. So it looks like I'm on my mission. James has bought an elite snack from the shop. Yum. They smell like childhood. <laughs> very tired. We have an hour to kill before we need to go and get on our next flight. But this is the coolest airport ever. I'm going to show you in a second, but we don't really know what to do with ourselves. We're kind of just wandering around. I want to try and find some like fruit or something cold because we've eaten on the plane, but it wasn't like the best food ever. And I'm still a bit peckish, but I'm going to try and find something. They've got like Ralph's coffee and stuff. It's re they've got really random places here to be fair, but James is just admiring all the this. <laughs> How cool is this airport? There's like little walks through the rainforest and stuff, it's so sick. Okay, this is our room. So we're staying at Little National, so we've got a cute little bed set up here. Very like, capsule kind of hotel, so we've got like wardrobe and stuff. And then the bathroom is just in here. It's actually a really nice bathroom for a small hotel, but very nice and like, petite. Um, but we're here for four nights while we're in Sydney and it's just, it's nice, you know? We've got some wardrobes. I think that's wardrobes. Or is that just a mirror? No, that's just a mirror. <laughs> that's our wardrobe. <laughs> but yeah, very small and cute. Oh, we have robes. Lovely. We've arrived at our hotel and I think it's only like quarter past six, but we left the house. God, I don't even know what time yesterday. I think we've officially been out of the house now for like 28 hours or something. So we are absolutely exhausted, ready to get into bed. I've literally just walked in the hotel room and showered because I just wanted to shower off the last couple of days. Um, James is currently showering. But we're staying at a cute little hotel called Little National. It's in the middle of the city centre, really convenient, really nice. Just It's kind of like your Citizen M if you're British. Like Citizen M is basically this, but like a slightly different vibe. So there's like a rooftop bar, there's a gym here. There's like 200 and something rooms and it's like a capsule hotel, you know, it's like the small like compact rooms, but they're all beautiful and they're like everything you need kind of thing. So it's not the biggest thing in the world, but that's okay because we don't need a lot of space. Like there's literally two of us. The woman on reception said there's loads of hotels nearby if we want to go for dinner, but there's also the ability to like get food delivered here and they'll bring it up to us. So I think we might be doing that. So I really want to try and get on Aussie time ASAP. I tried on the flight and I think I failed. I had like five hours sleep, but I, I, I tried to sleep so it was like into being like fine when I got here and I don't know if I failed or I don't, I don't know, but we're gonna try and catch up with some maths and just enjoy being in these cozy little gowns, ordering some food. Our Uber driver did say there's really good like Thai food around here. So I think we might try and get some Thai food and just have like a little pig out on the bed and just snooze, ideal. Good morning from the hotel. We're about to leave and head out the door. James has annoyed me because I've literally been taking three hours to get ready. But we have managed to make it to about 11 a.m. without having breakfast. So we're gonna spend today going to the rocks. We're gonna go to the Harbour Bridge. We're gonna see the Opera House, etc. cetera. Um, all of it's pretty close to us. I think it's 20 minute walk to the Opera House and the Harbour Bridge. So we're gonna try and have like a walking tour by ourselves. But first stop is heading to the rocks for brunch because we are absolutely starving. The hotel we're in does offer breakfast, I think, but we just didn't do it. So we're going to inquire tomorrow morning about adding it to our thing. But um, we just thought we'd go and explore and have brunch somewhere today. So I've got a cute little outfit on. Okay, 
day one in Australia. This is my outfit. So I've got my little Prada sunnies on, linen shirt, Abercrombie bodysuit. We know I love these. They are honestly the best thing ever. I wear them all the time, absolute basic. Uniqlo bag fits in literally everything I need. So I've got two cameras in here, obviously one in my hand. Two cameras, my phone, my lip gloss, my money, etc. cetera. Um, Levi shorts, these are, I think the 501s, but I really like them because they're like, they're not too cheeky and they also don't have like a raw hem or anything. My Adidas Continental 90s, little socks, I know absolute error wearing two clashing brands but I don't really care and that's my outfit to go and see like Sydney harbour etc so I thought wear something comfy wear something I'm not going to get too hot walking around in and just I mean it's 20 degrees I think it's like 23 degrees today um so everyone else is probably going to be wrapped up that lives here but we are tourists <laughs> We've come to find food store in the rocks for our breakfast and we stumbled across it by accident actually. We were looking for it and then we just came across it. But um, we're just going to have a bit of breakfast, get an iced coffee, my first taste of actual Australian coffee. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm going to get a decaf though for now because I had a big coffee this morning and I don't want to like overload myself. Actually maybe I'll have another one now because otherwise I'll be up all night. Maybe I need my second coffee now and I can have my decaf later. That's a better idea, isn't it? But it's such a warm day, like I think it's at 22 and it's stunning. And I sat out in the little courtyard bit and it just looks really cute and like very aesthetic. So I recommend coming here. But um, price wise, like we're getting breakfast and it's like, I'd say like nine to $20, depending what you get um, for different bits. But I'm just gonna go for avocado and LM tomato on toast. LM tomatoes are my favorite. And then we're gonna get a coffee. But oh, it's so nice to be in the sun and exploring. And just, I'm so grateful to be here. Okay, first taste of Australian coffee. Oh, it's bitter, but it's good. But it's very bitter. I probably should have shook it up a bit, but... I think I've just got pure coffee. Sure. Better. This is my brunch. So I've got avocado and alien tomato on toast with salmon, and James has got a spicy chicken burger with some crispies. Nummy. So we've um, started the walk across the Harbour Bridge, which is right by the rocks. Obviously it's free, you can do like the pedestrian walk. There is different ones where you can climb over it or like go up the towers and stuff. But to be honest, this is a free one, so we just thought it was easier. But it's really cool, the opera is like right over there. So we're going to walk all the way along, um, go to a viewpoint on the side and then come back, hop house, turn to the gardens, etc. But it's such a beautiful day for a walk. Like I'm literally in that like, t-shirt and shorts and I'm so toasty. If there's one thing I recommend to you for any trips you go on, it's this Uniqlo bag. It's literally like £14.90 or something. There's like 7,000 colours of it, but it's like a TARDIS. It fits absolutely everything in it. The camera died, but as I was saying, it's really handy. It fits everything in it. It's like £15, so I've got loads in there. Um, but we're off the bridge now. We're just walking down to a place called Jeremy, St. Jeremy's Wharf, I think it's called, um, where it's basically like a cute little viewpoint of the Opera House, so like the iconic view of the Opera House. And then I think we're going to head back up over the bridge and go see it from like that side as well. So we've walked all the way from over there to around here. We've been walking for ages actually, we've been walking for like an hour and a half. It's not too bad. Like for staying an hour and a half is us getting all the way across that bridge back again and around here. That's I say that's pretty good going. And we stopped for a while to take pictures and all that kind of thing too. So we'll see every angle and then we can carry on. You having a good time? <laughs> we don't get James on the vlog, but James can be to here. <laughs> One thing we've very quickly learned is that you can easily do like the rocks, the Harbour Bridge, Sydney Opera House and the Royal Botanical Gardens in like pretty much a couple of hours. So I think we've looked on my watch, we've been walking for like three hours, but we did the Harbour Bridge, Opera House, I mean you've seen what we've done, but um, we're just wandering around the Botanical Gardens now and we're going to head to a little viewpoint that's apparently really nice. Got a little one for the road because I'm literally so thirsty. I've been necking water, this is James showing you his. Um, but I'm still so thirsty, so we're just having a little walk up to this viewpoint. I've already done like 15,000 steps or something, but um, we haven't had lunch yet, so we're thinking maybe just like hold out and have like an early dinner at like six-ish, um, but we're not sure yet, and then maybe go to the rooftop of our hotel for a drink, because it's really nice. Oh, apparently this is a really nice view to show you. <laughs> 
James just run out of the way so that I could show you the view. But yeah, um, it's really stunning. The sun's just gone behind the clouds, but it's honestly not cold. Like everyone was telling us it's gonna be freezing and that we're gonna need jeans. And we're literally both in like shorts and stuff for God's sake. <laughs> if he ends up in a video, it will be in one of these ones. I'm telling you now, your face will be in one of these vlogs by the end of this trip. I've got a month, I can do it. It's a little while later, as you can probably tell, and we've come out for dinner. Having an early one, I think it's only like half six or something. But we're both hungry and we just wanted to make sure that we got out, ate something, and then we can go back and chill for a bit. But um, we've walked a lot today, like my feet actually hurt from how many steps we've done. So we're going to a little place around the corner of one hotel, easy food. We just really wanted pizza and pasta basically. This is what I'm wearing. So I've got same sunglasses on my head. My hair is so greasy. This is just, this is how we're doing it. They're good for putting on and they're also just good for holding my hair back. So we love them. They're just the um, Prada ones. I feel like everyone on their wife owns. Then I've got my leather jacket on from um, Worst Behaviour because I'm not sure how hot it's going to be, but I thought this is like a good layer that I can then take off because it is meant to be raining a little bit today. Um, so, you know, good removable layer. T-shirt is my collection. We know I'm gonna be wearing it all the time. So this is just the um, Be The Energy You Want To Attract T-shirt with the big graphic on the back. And then I've paired it with these cream shorts, which is exactly what I wore in Cyprus. And I really liked it. So I thought, Do you know what? We're gonna go again. And then I've just got my Converse on my feet because my Adidas ones yesterday did give me blisters. So I thought we'll go for Converse today and then we'll just alternate. But yeah, I think it's quite a cute little outfit. Just very simple, minimal, easy. Probably gonna overheat in this and end up taking it off, but at least I've got it because I needed an extra layer and I decided today I probably need to buy a sweatshirt that's like grey or like a dark colour because I've only got the blue hoodie with me and the white hoodie. The blue hoodie needs to be put in the laundrette, so I'm waiting to do that and the white hoodie I just didn't want to risk. Especially like this outfit, it just it doesn't go. So we're gonna we're gonna go with it. This is my outfit for day two. I'm going to Bondi. Last night we ended up going to Bar Tutti's and it was the most amazing thing. It was such good food. So they had like Italian menu, a lot of pasta, a lot of like um, steaks and things like that. Really, really lovely. You can see them cooking everything. It's honestly, it's such a vibey restaurant and I thought it was a really nice relaxing environment. Massive wait list and loads of people outside. So we ended up having to um, put our names on a wait list for 30 minutes, go to the bar next door, which I think was called the Royal George or something. Um, had a little drink there, it was happy hour, six bucks for a wine, pretty good, it's about three pounds. Went in half an hour later, had our food, it was epic, really, really good. I think for both of us to have mains and we had like a sharing bread and ndudja, which is like the spicy sausage stuff, it came to, I think it was 50 pounds. So not the most cheap place, but I would say for Sydney, that's not too bad, especially because, I mean, Australia is just really expensive, but Today, we're off to Bondi, which I'm very excited about. The weather is giving mixed signals. So my phone and James's phone and the AccuWeather app have all said completely different. So we're not sure whether it's gonna rain or be sunny or be cloudy or what, but it's meant to be about 18, 19 degrees. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna put the leather jacket on over t-shirt and shorts and hopefully I'll be okay. Cause obviously here it's going into autumn time. So I didn't wanna be freezing and I thought this is quite a good like middle ground. So like t-shirt shorts and then a layer of warmth, but I am gonna be buying a sweatshirt today because I need some extra layers of warmth. <laughs> I realized I've only got two hoodies with me for this entire trip. So I'm gonna buy myself a little Bondi Beach classic tourist vibes sweatshirt, which I do everywhere. I feel like I've mentioned this in vlogs before, but I always buy a t-shirt and a magnet most places I go. I did stop with the t-shirt thing because it got quite expensive, but I thought if I like one or it's somewhere that I've always wanted to go, then it's acceptable, but I don't need that many because I've got quite an excessive oversized t-shirt collection at the moment. But anyway, we're gonna head off to Bondi. We've got two trains and a bus to catch to get there which is quite a long trip, but it's also the cheapest way to get there. We didn't want to get an Uber. So I will let you know how that goes. I'm not sure how long it takes, but I'm thinking what, like 40 minutes? Is that about right? James is eating a Tim Tam, more or less. <laughs> He's in the middle of eating a Tim Tam. But yeah, we're gonna head out and get on the road.
got some little sweet corn fritters, blueberry smoothie, James has got peanut butter smoothie, and then we've got some eggs, a toast, and bacon. Yeah. Okay, next stop of the day, we've come to Bondi Beach. So we've just had a little bit of food at Bill's because we were both absolutely starving and we thought we need to eat before we do absolutely anything. <laughs> so we had some food and now we're just stood overlooking the beach. We're about to head on, I think, and just sit down and enjoy the views for a bit. Like, it's really weird to be, I know it sounds really stupid, but it's weird to be on a beach where people are actually surfing and like massive waves. It's just really cool. Like, this is literally something I've always dreamed of coming and it's like just epic to see it. But, um, yeah. It's such a shame that we're here on such a like cloudy day because it would be so nice to just sit in a bikini on the beach and just like enjoy Bondi for what it is. But um, it's still been nice to see it regardless. And we're going to go find some ice cream now and then sit. Sit? We're not sitting, we're going on a walk. But I need to find some plasters for my toes first because they are hurting from yesterday. Okay, we're doing the Bondi to Coogee walk, which is basically across like all of the little beaches. And um, it takes about two hours, it's like six kilometers, depending how quick you walk, how many stops you do, etc. But it's so nice and warm. The sun is finally coming out a little bit, so it's just like the perfect time to be like walking along. Although we did realize we've got no water, so I think we might have to detour and find a shop in a minute. But um, it's a really beautiful day for a little walk, and the waves look epic. Safe to say I, uh, Probably didn't need the excessively warm leather jacket. <sighs> Lesson learnt. <laughs> Although, I will say that from how everyone dresses at the moment, you would never know what season it is because some people are like really summery, some people are really wintry, some people are a mix of both. Like you just, you could not judge the season because everyone is dressed so differently. But we're like 25 minutes into this hike and we stopped a million times, so we'll probably take ages to do it. I realized I forgot to film anything apart from like halfway through the walk, but we did it in about an hour and a half. I actually filmed my watch at the very end so that I could remember exactly how long it took us. It's about six kilometers and it wasn't a hard walk. Like it's one of those walks where you could do it with no like fitness level at all and you'd be okay. There is quite a few stairs. So some bits we did get a little bit out of breath, but I wouldn't say it's difficult by any means. Like it's just a really nice coastal walk that just goes along. I think if you did the route Coogee back to Bondi, then it's probably less uphill um, but either way really really nice walk and beautiful views of all the beaches and just a completely different way to see like the Bondi beach etc like I actually thought along the walk was a really pretty view because it kind of looked back onto Bondi which was really really nice and more of like a postcard view if you know what I mean but today we're actually meeting up with two of my friends Adrian and Jake who I met in Croatia last year um, I haven't seen them since but they said they give us a little tour of like Manly Beach and Shelley etc and then we're gonna go for dinner with them so they're gonna give us like a Sydney locals tour but first things first I need to go and get a little attachment for my tripod because I completely forgot to bring it and I can't use my tripod so that's really fun so we're gonna go get that we did accidentally sleep in until like 10 a.m. so we have kind of lost part of our morning I don't think we're gonna get out the door till about 12 but then I think we're gonna find somewhere to go for coffee and brunch again and then meet jake and adrian at like half two which is gonna be nice so i don't know where we're gonna go for a brunch have you got any ideas of where you want to go it looks like a beautiful day again a little bit cloudy but it's meant to rain and jake assured me that if it rains in sydney it passes quickly so we have every faith that that's that's the way it's gonna be but i think today i might wear jeans or something and just be a little bit more warm he did say dress comfy and beachy but i think like jeans and some birkenstocks or something will be fine and yeah I better go get myself ready because it's like 11 o'clock. Okay, today's outfit is very chilled. Comfy but casual, but also gonna keep me warm enough for the whole day. So I've got little vest, not a vest, it's not a vest, it's a t-shirt. I've got a t-shirt on from Zara. This is an oldie that I wear all the time. Jeans are from ASOS. These are like little mid-rise ones. I size up so that they're a little bit more roomy and then they hang a little bit nicer and then they don't like cut you in or anything. Birkenstock Boston's on my feet because my feet are ripped to shreds from my Converse. So I thought these were the best option. Then I've got this little bag 
which is Princess Polly jumper that I bought yesterday because I realised I didn't have any sweatshirts with me just so I can chuck it on if I get cold and yeah, it's my outfit for today. We have to coffee shop called Good Vibes Only and you meant to believe you have to come in. If you don't know, I have a podcast called The Good Vibes Club, um, so it seemed like a fitting place to stop and we're both desperate for a coffee and um, just really needing like some kind of something, so this was a place to stop. Um, but I'm currently looking for a phone tripod mount thing because I forgot mine, so I've got to find like, you know, the grippy things that you put on. Um, so Hopefully we find one somewhere because I really need to get one. You probably can't even see me because the sun's so bright, but we've come for some food and we're at, I think it's called like East something. I'll put it on the screen, but it's a pizza place. We just had like a salad and stuff. I've got myself in a for a spritz. Um, and we're just waiting for Jake to come and meet us. And then we're gonna go to Manly, Shelley Beach, and then we're meeting Adrian, and then we're gonna go for dinner. So we've got quite a busy afternoon as soon as I get here, but it's so hot. This is probably the warmest it's been since we've been here, isn't it? It's so, so warm. This would have been the perfect day for yesterday for like chilling on Bondi, but either way, it's beautiful. And I've got like the bridge behind me. Stunning. Stunning weather, stunning company, stunning drinks. So we've arrived at Manly. We've just been having a little walk along the promenade, walking around, we're going to Shelley Beach, and then we're gonna head back across to Manly and go for dinner a little bit later. But it's like, I think like three, four o'clock, four o'clock? And the sun's like in the sky, nearly setting. It's just beautiful. And it's so nice and quiet here as well. Like there's not really many people, so it's beautiful. Are you enjoying it? Nothing. And we just had a butter boy. I think it's called a butter boy. It was like a giant cookie and it was, mm. yeah, butter boy. It was like insane. It was like lotus and um, like Biscoff and dark chocolate. Yeah. Yum. So good, um, but Jake's just on the phone, so <laughs> I thought I'd do a quick little vlog before he comes back over, and then we're gonna head up to the beach. I'm oh, very, I'm very, very warm today, like so yeah. warm. Is he talking to her? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> before you wonder, that's not James weeing. That is James tipping half a bottle of like water that we'd got down the sink. Um, there was like this much left in it, so we're just you know filling the bottle. Oh, for God's sake! He's not weeing. Um, Today is our last day in Sydney, which is really sad. So yesterday, I didn't really vlog much because basically, as I said, we went to hang out with two of my friends who I met in Croatia last year, and I haven't seen them in literally a year, like since last June. So we thought, do you know what? Camera go down, let's have a really nice time with them. So we went to their house and had dinner. We went to Manly Beach, we went to Shelley Beach. Like it was a really nice day. And we just got to like see a little bit different, you know, like things that we weren't gonna do normally. Um, we were planning on doing Manly, but it's nice to do Manly with someone who like knows the area and has been there like their whole life. Um, but it was really good fun and if I'm honest, like, I showed you everything I needed to. That's all we really did that was, like, worth noting in terms of, like, what you would want to do in Sydney. Because, obviously, you're not going to go and see my friend. But it was really nice to see them and hang out. Um, today, we're leaving the hotel now. It's 10 a.m. So we just checked out on the app. Because, basically, when you're here, you text them to check out. Leave your key in the room and then you just leave. And, obviously, if you stay later, they just charge you for late checkout and stuff. But it's really convenient because it means you don't have to faff with anything. Um, but we're gonna go down to reception now and leave our bags for a bit, head out to get some lunch, and then we're gonna Uber from here again to pick up the van. Um, and then obviously we need to do like a food shop and all that kind of stuff. And then I think we're gonna head to Blue Mountains this afternoon, maybe stay either in Blue Mountains or near Blue Mountains in a campsite and then do like a hike there tomorrow or something, I think. Um, but we've got the van for, I think we worked out we've got it for 11 days which isn't ideal like you ideally would want it for like at least two weeks but obviously we've got one month that's all we could do so we wanted to make the most of it um so what i'm gonna do is slightly cross over the van life vlog with this vlog so you'll get snippets of blue mountain because technically it's still sydney but i'm gonna be starting the van life vlog as well so Hopefully you have enjoyed this vlog. Um, if you liked it, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more from me, and I'll see you in the van life vlog. But I hope you enjoyed this one. Bye, guys. <laughs>